Hello and welcome to uh, Tech Tips with Will and uh, today I'm going to be looking at uh, how we go about doing a survey monkey. This might be new for you. Uh, if you've received a uh, survey monkey uh, email um, from the presbytery or from uh, another group, um, you'll get an email that looks something like this. It'll have a, uh, a green uh, bar in it and it'll actually uh, tell you that you've actually got uh, a survey monkey. It'll give you an idea of who it's come from and you'll have a box here that'll say begin survey. When you click on that box, uh, it will open uh, a new window for you. I'm just doing that now uh, and it should, it, there it is. It's now opening the new window uh, and this is a practice survey monkey. So you can see up the top here, your original email tab is still open up the top. Um, and you've actually got your new tab open that's practice survey monkey open over the top of it. If you want to go back to your email, you just click up the top tab there. If you want to get back to your survey monkey, you actually click on the tab there. Uh, I'm using Firefox, but tabs are pretty standard whether you're using Explorer uh, or uh, perhaps you might be using Google Chrome uh, or if you're on Apple, you might be on Safari. So once you've actually got it open, uh, it'll come up and it'll say practice survey monkey. You can actually type in then uh, your name. Uh, so the first question here is of course name to answer, click the gray bar below with your mouse. So you'll move your mouse cursor onto the gray bar and I'm gonna type in my name here, which is Will Nicholas. Okay, so then uh, once you've done that and you're happy with it, you can actually type in there. If you made a mistake, you can go back and you can type in Will Nicholas again. So once you've pressed OK, that all grays out. Um, so make sure you've got it right before you go. But if you do need to go back to it, as, as I've just done, you can actually go back and click on the gray area and type it in. So if you spelt it wrong um, and you want to do it again, then you can go back just by clicking on the gray area up there. Even though it looks grayed out, it's actually the field you're working with at the moment. So you can go forward at any time uh, and, uh, and, and press OK. So that's an example of filling out what we call a field. Put my name in there as a field. Question number two, age group. Uh, you can click on one of the circles that actually fit into. In my case, uh, I am in the 40 to 59 age group. So the moment I click on it, it advances me into the next one. If I made a mistake and clicked in the wrong spot, once again, I can just click back up there again and uh, tell them that I'm 80 plus, but that's not correct um, in the 40 to 59 age group. Question number three is a sliding field. How do you feel about doing this survey? To answer this, hold down the circle like so. So once I go over the top of it, it actually highlights, and then I can drag the circle to where I want to do it. So I'm feeling pretty darn excited about doing this survey, and so I'm gonna put in 100%. If you're not happy or you need to start again, you can press clear, uh, and it starts you back again. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna complete my survey to say that I'm I'm really excited about doing this uh, and uh, completing this uh, survey. So then the next one, okay, please describe what type of day it is. Click and click uh, your mouse on the gray box and start typing. Okay, so you've got a limited number of, um, so I can actually say, uh, today is a wonderful, wonderful day for doing surveys and I am very excited to be learning new things and finding new ways to participate online online with uh, my computer. Um, so you can see that I've typed a fairly reasonably long piece there. And I think what happens is that uh, when we get down to it, we've got a, a, a field here we can fill uh, and we can type that out. And um, you know, there's no spell check. I don't think there's a spell check anyway. Let's see if I can spell something incorrectly. In Yes, there is. So, uh, in correctly, I've just spelled incorrectly, incorrectly, and you'll see there's a red line there. If you right click on the red line, it'll give you a list of suggested words that could be the right one in there, and you can fix it up. So if you're a bad speller like me, you can use that. Once you're happy with your answer, you'll click OK. 
Uh, and then the next thing we're going to do here is UCA stands for Uniting Church in Australia. Uh, to answer, click on the little arrows below to see if the choice is yes or no. Okay, so I know that UCA does stand for Uniting Church in Australia, so I'm going to click on this option here, uh, and then it goes yes. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. Once again, if I go back and want to change my mind, no, um, I can do that quite easily just by clicking, and that's yes. The Uniting Church is to answer, click on the squares that you think apply. Now in this particular one, we've got multiple choices we can choose. A church that has been around for hundreds of years, not correct. A church that has uh, congregations in every state of the USA, nope, once again. A church that has congregations in every state of Australia, yes, I like that. A church that has a president at its head, that's true. Uh, a church that is concerned about social justice, yes, and a church that only baptizes babies, that's also not correct. So out of those, I'm feeling fairly confident that three of those are correct. I'm leaving three of them unchecked. Once again, I'm not happy. I can actually check and uncheck. So I'll say, okay, this is an online sign survey. Click on an opinion you think answers uh, on, on the opinion that you think. Uh, one answer per line. So I've got multiple things here. So this uh, online surveys are difficult to complete. Well, you know, I, I disagree. I think that it's fairly reasonably easy. A pain in the neck. Oh, well, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of don't feel either way about that. Uh, great fun. I strongly agree that they are great fun. Lots of fun to do surveys online. I'm being very positive here. So, you know, don't worry about me. OK, number eight. I understand how to do online surveys is now one star. Uh, one star is that you are not confident, five stars that you are confident. To answer, click on the number of stars to show how you feel. You can add a comment in the section. So I'm going to say I'm feeling pretty confident and I'm going to say woo who that was great. Okay, so um, once I'm happy with my whole, oops, my typing. Once I'm happy with my whole thing, I then say OK. And then at the end, I submit uh, the survey and I've answered eight out of eight questions. My bar down here is full and I am ready to go. So click on that. My survey has been submitted and it then takes me to the advertising page uh, for um, uh, online surveys if I wanted to create my own. You don't need to worry about that. Once you're finished with that, just close the tab. It'll take you back to where you were before. So thanks for uh, joining me for my survey. It's taken a few minutes of your time. Feel free to go back and um, uh, and, and pause and check if you've got any questions. Um, and check out my other videos that you might find on oddrev.com, uh, www.oddrev.com. Uh, or you can find me on Facebook at, at oddrev or on YouTube by Googling never odd or even or searching for that, sorry, in YouTube. Uh, there are lots of other videos there, some of them instructional, some of them fun. You can see what kind of games I'm up to and what I like to do with my spare time. Uh, I've been Will Nicholas, your Odd Rev, and this has been an instructional video on how to complete SurveyMonkey surveys.